Hey, welcome back to another video for our Hero Maker application. We're demonstrating all kinds of different controls that you can put on a form. In this video, we're going to add some dates, and we'll need three dates here. We're going to have a birthday, a superpower discovery day, and also a fateful day. So three different dates that are important to your character. So you can name them something besides what I do, but let's try these. So let's start with a group box because we have more than one item. We'll do three different dates. So let's make the group box uh, wide enough to hold a date control. Okay, so let's go find date. So the date time picker is what we need for a date. So let's just drag him over to here and let's give it a label. All right, so we got a label and let's give this uh, control a name. Okay, so I'm going to add two other controls. I will pick one for the superpower discovery date. And so in the name of the control, let's name it as date underscore discovery. And then for the fateful day, we will do the same thing. We'll add a label and then we will add the control underneath it. So we'll change the text for the labels and we will change the actual name of the control to uh, each of the date pickers. All right, so a little bit of arrangement and we will make the controls just big enough to hold their dates. All right, so now let's talk about how would we would save these dates. There's actually a date format in C-sharp, so let's click on the Create button here and scroll down until we come to where we finished or left off. Let's see here, we're in status messages, that's too far down. There we go, this looks like the part. So let's put in a new section called Dates. So if you type in date as a data type, you will find that there is a choice called date time. And let's just name one called birthday. And he is going to be equal to the control. So the control name was called date underscore birthday. And all we have to do is capture the value. And that's all there is to it. The date control saves a string of date time format. So that's pretty simple. So I'll add another date time. I'm going to name this date as the superpower discovery date, and we will capture it from the second control. And we'll do the same thing with the third date. We'll call this thing fateful day. So I don't know if that's the day they die or some horrible thing happens to them, but we have three dates. Scrolling down toward the end, we get into the part where the status message is being updated. So let's add some more. So we'll add on to the status message for the uh, date of the power discovery. And so we can just append this string. And then the last one is to append on another string, which is the fateful day for this person is. And so it should give us a status update when we run the program. So let's give it a try. I'll pick a few things here and let's see what happens. I'm going to pick a date. So we select from the birthday. So the date picker allows you to browse quite standardly and quickly like all programs do. So we'll pick a few dates here and then click Create Hero. So you can see that the string value is accurate. It does show the numbers that I, or the dates that I picked. So I did something wrong with the second item. You notice here it says the discovery tells me that I am actually picking the date picker value. So what did I do differently about the second one? Let's check my code. So let's see what I did here at the very end, these last three status updates. This one here has the date power discovery, which is the actual control name. What I meant to put was a string name, which is called superpower discovery. So string instead of control. Okay, let's try out the program and run it again. So let's see how so let's try it again. I'm going to run the program. I'm going to pick a few things here. And let's pick a date and click Go or Create Hero. So now you can see that I am printing actual dates here. And they are printed as the correct format. So it is possible to print in other formats. There's lots of ways to format printing. Uh, we're just taking the default right here. So if you've got preferences for that, just don't uh, accept the defaults. You can look them up and change those formats to have hyphens, long dates, short dates. You can include the time if you like or not. So that's uh, some research for you if you don't like the way the, prints, the dates are printing now. 
So that kind of brings us to the end here. We've uh, This is a simple control with three different dates. Next time we'll move on and we'll do some integers with a number counter.